All right, page 19 in the book. It's way at the end, okay? Chapter five is broken up into two parts. Yes, both parts are in there. Right there, Vinny. Right there, no. Yeah, that's a good page. All right, so it's broken up into two parts. The first part is systems of linear, e or linear equations. The second part is going to be about systems of linear inequalities, okay? So what we need to do is we need to kind of review inequalities. Okay, you all right with that, Natal? Now this might be a little bit on the keystone, okay? Not a ton, I haven't seen it, but just a little bit. So there's a, a few things with inequalities. One, we had open and closed circles, right? Do you guys remember that? Now, instead of open and closed circles, we're gonna have solid, and dotted lines. So a solid line has the line under it. So the line gets the line. And if it doesn't have the line under, that's dotted or dashed, okay? Now, remember we would circle the number and we would shade to the right or left. Now we don't really have right or left, we have above or below. So we're gonna be either shading above our line or below our line. Okay, and it all depends on the sign, Ronan. Okay, so if we're eating the variable, if we're eating the Y, we're going to shade above. Okay, and it's not that hard because we just got out of the section on graphing. So let's open up to here. So we can graph an inequality on a coordinate plane. It's a lot like graphing a um, linear equation. All right, Ryan. So up here, okay, I'm gonna zoom in on this. We have a couple different types of lines. We have ones with positive slope, negative slope, zero slope or undefined. Okay, so I can kind of get an idea of what my line should look like. So this line up here, you're looking at the board. It says Y is less than two X. I'm gonna think about that line as Y equals two X. Now that has a, positive slope, meaning my line should go up, it should be like going uphill. So here's how we get this line. And you guys don't need to copy anything for this. I'm just gonna show you, all right? So I'm viewing it as y equals two x. I'm gonna start at the number that doesn't have the x. Well, notice there isn't any, right? We always start at that number, but there isn't one. So it's zero. Now this number, this number tells me my slope. And that says it's up to, to the right one. So I'm gonna go up to the right one, up to the right one. Okay, and I'll even put this point down here. Now notice they're all in a line. So nothing changes until this point. So this, still there. We're still starting at zero. And this, well, look, that's still there, right? I didn't change anything. So it's still up to the right one. It's still starting at zero. The only thing that changes is this. Does everybody see that right there, that sign? That sign is what changes it. It adds two things. One, first thing is that is telling me it's a dotted line. Why? Because it doesn't have the line on it. So that's why this is dashed. Okay? Now, the other thing it adds to it is, well, I need to shade. Where do I shade? Everybody look at that symbol. Do you see how it says Y is less than two X? Am I eating the Y, Ryan? Do that symbol as a mouth. Am I eating the Y? No. no, I'm not. Because I'm not eating the Y, I shade below. And that's the only thing it changes. You okay, Tristan? Not too difficult. So let's look at an example of this. Okay, so 
Before we get to that, we have a couple things here. One, graph the boundary line. That's just saying we're going to like graph that y equals line. We're going to change our inequality in our minds to y equals, and we're going to graph that. And then we're going to move towards this. These two symbols, less than or, or less than or greater than, they get a dashed line. Less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, they get a solid line. So let's look at this. All right. Does everybody see example one? All right. Ready for this material? Where do I start in example one? What number was that? Yeah, so what's, so where do I start? So don't look at the steps. Like I'm trying to graph the line. If I was asking you to graph y equals negative two x minus four, how would I do that? Okay, where's my first point? Not at negative two. Negative four. So everybody come here and put a point at negative four. <laughs> so this is my starting point. <laughs> so I always start at that number. Now it doesn't, it doesn't change, okay? If I switch that symbol, it doesn't change. I'm thinking about it in my head as y equals negative two x minus four, okay? Now, how do I get another point, Vidi? So I need my slope, right? So what's my slope? Negative two. So that says go down two and to the right one. Let's go down two from here, one, two, and to the right one. Now I know I'm off my graph, right? I'm off my graph, but we can all see my line is falling from left to right, right? So Vinny, I need a point over here to the left. Does that make sense to you? So Vinny, let's think about it. This point, right, that I put on there. There's gotta be a point over here. How can I get another point over here? Well, let's look at this. How do I get from this point to this point? I go, one, two, the left one, right? So how am I going to get the point over here? Where do I go? I go up to, to the left one. I kind of work backward. Okay? So I use that point, not as like a point on my line, but as a reference point to kind of tell me which way is my line going. So there's the points on my line. Now, Ronan, is it is it a solid line or is it a dotted line? Dotted line. So I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to make it dotted. Now, Ben, yeah. am I shooting above that line or below that line? So you have to ask yourself, are you eating the Y or not? Uh, you're eating the Y. So then we shade up, I think. Oh, very good. So we shade above. Now, determine the type of boundary line. Let's start. And Ben, unfortunately, it sounded like you had a little bit of doubt in your voice about which way to shade. And here's how you, uh, I want to say like turn that doubt into clout, but I, I don't think that goes. Yeah, it's not really going. But how do you turn that frown upside down? Well, you pick a test point, and the test point I like to pick is zero, zero. So I'm gonna put 
zero, zero, that is my test point, and I label it X and Y. And I'm going to write my inequality, which is Y, right, is greater than negative 2X minus 4. And I'm just going to plug in my uh, values for X and Y. So I'm asking, is 0 greater than negative 2 times 0 minus 4? Well, negative 2 times 0 is 0. So is 0 greater than negative 4? Yes. So I shaded on the right side because I picked my test point. Now, how did I pick the test point 0, 0? Always pick 0, 0. Why? Because it's easy to add 0. It's easy to multiply by 0. The only time I can't pick the point 0, 0 is when my line goes through 0, 0. All right? So if your line goes through the center, you can't pick it. And it doesn't matter if it works or not. If it doesn't work, all right, if it didn't work G, well, then I would just erase that and I would just shade the other side of the line. Okay. It's just a, a form of checks and balances. Okay. This is way too intense for 8.54 on Monday morning. She was like, it was nice over the weekend. It was outside. Didn't think about math since Thursday because we all know asynchronous Friday. Yep. It's cold. And now it's cold, I'm sleepy, daylight savings time, worst thing ever invented. Okay. It really is. Doesn't affect me. Still awake. Crack it. All right. Let's look at this guy. Let's go to example two. Example two. All right. Example two, Eddie. Yeah. Where do I start in example two? Uh, I know it's not dotted. That is, uh, we'll go with that. It's solid. Okay, nice job on that, Eddie. Where do I start? Uh, the example two, right? The negative three. Negative three. So we start at negative three. And then Zach, what is my slope? Uh, one over four. So we go up one and to the right four. So up one to the right four. I'm gonna put my point back here to kind of help me out. And Eddie told me it is solid. Okay. And do I shade above or below? Did Brendan show up? Okay. It's okay. We're going to go to Miss Salazar. Miss Salazar, am I eating the Y? Sometimes I, I really wonder if I'm on the right. Um, Cassidy, am I eating the log? Yes. Wait, what was that? Yes. So that means I shade above. Now, to check. I'm going to take my test point of zero, zero. Okay. We're going to plug it in. Is y greater than or equal to one fourth x minus three when x and y are zero? So I have zero is greater than or equal to one fourth times zero minus three. Well, one fourth times zero is zero. So I have. Zero is greater than negative three. And that is true. So I shaded on the right side. Right below it, you will find example number three or on the next page, right? No, it's not. Oh. All right. So right below it, you'll find example number three. I want you guys to try example number three. Okay. Yeah.
Yep. All right, so let's look at example three. Well, where do I start? Well, notice there is no number after the X. So we are going to start at zero, okay? There is no number there. So we start at zero. Now we need to find our slope. Well, our slope is one over one. So we're going to go up one and to the right one. So up one to the right one. Back fill it because it helps me connect my dots. Okay, I'm looking at it. There is no line under my symbol, so that's dotted. So go ahead, dotted. All right. Which way do I shade above or below? Well, I'm eating the Y, so I'm shading above. Okay. But now on this one, I can't take, I can't take the point zero, zero because I'm going through it. So Vinny, I got to take another point. So you pick any other point in your shaded region. That point is zero, one. So I'm going to take the point zero one, label it x, y. And I'm just going to ask myself this way is one greater than zero? Yep, shade it on the right side. Emily, you okay? You seem tired. Are you tired from daylight savings time? Okay. Ryan, X equaling a number or Y equaling a, equaling a number. Okay, that gives us horizontal and vertical lines. Which one is vertical and which one is horizontal out of these two? Is it X is less than or equal to two or Y is less than or equal to two that's vertical? So that one's vertical. Are you sure? No. Do you want to guess again? So one is vertical and one is horizontal. Which one is vertical? Is it the one on the left or is it the one on the right? Very good. It's the one on the left. X equals the number is vertical. Okay. So to graph this, okay, first thing we do is we identify is it a solid or dotted line? This is going to be solid. So I'm going to draw a solid line. Now, Ryan, there is no above and below here, right? There's a left and a right. Agreed? Now, if I'm eating the number, right, X is less than, right? 
Which way would I shade to represent last time? Would I shade to the left or to the right? Very good. To the left. Everything I own in a box to the left. Okay. Vinny. Why? Well, that's going to be horizontal, right? X equals is vertical, Y equals horizontal. So it's a solid line through two, right? Am I shooting above or below? Below, because Y is less. Okay. Now, there are two below it. I want you to work on those two. All right, G, you ready to bring it on home here? Last two questions. You ready for this? Yeah. All right, you got this. G, first one, horizontal or vertical line? Um, vertical, solid or dotted? Uh, Am I shooting to the left or to the right? Yeah. Nice to go, G. So pick a line, horizontal or vertical? Horizontal. And it's solid, above or below. Okay, any questions? No? All right. 